Okay, I'm going to show you how to write an article on a local newspaper and put it up on Wikipedia. Uh, and this is really about how to start that article. We'll talk about how to extend that article in some future video. Uh, as we start that article, our main concern is going to be something called notability, which I'll talk about as we go through. But for the moment, let's uh, start with the easiest thing, which is to make sure that there is no article on Wikipedia already that covers this. We right-click this link. We look, we find that there is no article on Wikipedia about this subject. Uh, and then we're going to go to Mondo Times, which is a source of circulation and ownership uh, information on the web. And we find the paper has actually stopped publishing in, in 2017. Now, we could move on to a different paper. In this case, though, I think it's important that uh, we cover this paper. I could go into detail on why it's as important that we cover recently ceased papers. Um, for, you know, in fighting against disinformation, uh, but I won't. I'll just say it is important to cover this. We're going to go forward with it. Uh, we go to the Wikipedia page, uh, and we look for the Library of Congress record. We find out um, it started out as the Delano Holograph uh, in 1908, and we're going to copy that link there, and we're going to start writing. We're going to say this is in the draft. And uh, we're going to say that uh, it was founded as uh, the Delano Holograph in 1908, and we're going to use this as a source. Now, I've sped this video up uh, by a factor of three, so I don't actually type this fast, although I do make this many errors. And uh, we add the URL. We add the title of the page uh, to the citation. And... Um, then we're going to add the website name, Chronically America. We're also going to go down, we're going to add a custom field here. Um, we're going to add the publisher field, and we're going to add, put Library of Congress in that uh, because it adds some credibility to this citation that it comes from the Library of Congress, right? Uh, now, it ceased publication in 2017, according to Mondo Times. We're going to eventually find a better source for this, uh, but for the moment, um, Mondo Times is our source for the fact it stopped publishing. Um, and publish page. Um, this does not push it to Wikipedia. We're still in a draft. This is just going to save uh, our changes and our note about what we changed. Uh, and this is a this is a basic skeleton. It started then. It it, it ended in 2017. And you notice we have two sources here uh, that demonstrate um, some notability. The Mondo Times doesn't really help. Uh, the Library of Congress helps a bit, but let's 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 flesh this out a little more. We go back to these links, and you'll see that our draft uh, link here is now blue because we started a draft. If you actually want to jump in on other people's drafts, look for blue draft links in these pages, uh, and you'll find uh, work in progress. We now go and we look at books, and what we find is they're mentioned here. They're mentioned here in the story of the California grape strike, and they're mentioned in a substantial way. Uh, it looks like they sided with the growers uh, versus the workers uh, during the California uh, grape strikes. They sided against Cesar uh, Chavez and uh, Huerta. Uh, so uh, that's something that we can note, right? We get this link. Uh, we're going to add a note here, and we're going to say it appears to have been known for supporting uh, great growers over workers. And we'll make this a little better, but we're going to add citation. I'm going to show you something cool about Google Books citations. With Google Books, you can use this automatic way of creating a citation. You drop it in there, bam, done. Okay? So uh, Google Books formats that all uh, for you. And so we add another note here, um, great growers strike note. And now we start to have a paper here, right? Now we look at newspapers.com. I highly recommend uh, getting a newspapers.com. Uh, account either for yourself or if you're a faculty uh, or uh, administration for the students working on this. Uh, it surfaces a lot of uh, great sources that we can use. And in this case, we surface um, this publisher died. Uh, but in that death uh, announcement, we find that they operated the paper from 1950 to 1985, uh, which is great. That's part of our chain of ownership, right? Uh, and so we can use this notice here, we can use this uh, short uh, article uh, to add another fact um, that uh, George Kaiser's um, bought the newspaper in 1950 and operated in it until its sale uh, to who? To who? Uh, to read, uh, to read uh, print 
1985, and this citation goes in, and we use this news form uh, source title. Just grab it from there. Um, and uh, there's no last name or anything like that, but we do have the publication name. Uh, so we'll just grab that publication uh, name. Oops. Uh, and then um, let's grab the uh, let's grab the date. And uh, the date has to be in a specific format. Uh, more on that later. But this is what the format looks like if, if you're using this this method. Uh, and that's good enough for now. Uh, and we publish changes. Right? We added uh, Kaiser. And now you start to see this shit taking shape, right? We have, uh, we have a book reference, right? We have um, a newspaper reference. We have a reference to the Library of Congress. Uh, and then we have Delano Times. So we'll expand this in a minute. Uh, but this is a start.